Okay, in this video, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to use the uh, materials lab, and also use the lights to make an interesting composition here. Uh, the first thing I want to do is check out some of the uh, features in the uh, materials lab. Okay, so let's go ahead and toggle to the wireframe view. Now, if I want to take this object, for example, and and uh, manipulate it, I can go into the materials lab. So whenever I select an object you'll see a toolbar up here. If you go to the M, that's the materials lab. And up here there's a diffuse button. If I left click on the little bubble next to it, I can change the color of that object to anything I want. Um, so let's give it a nice, maybe a bluish hue. Okay. Yeah, let's try that. And um, also you can play with some of these sliders out here. Notice here my diffusion's all the way out. I can also play with the ambiance or how much light's hitting the surface and that'll lighten it up. <clears throat> or I can also play with the transparency and make that slightly see-through, which might make it kind of interesting. And with that, I might even want to bring up the reflections too as they hit the uh, object there. You'll start to see some interesting effects as well, as well as refraction. Um, so let's see what that looks like there. Check that, and then when you render the uh, composition, you'll see you have an interesting kind of a almost glassy see-through texture there. So we can do the same thing with our other objects. Um, so for example, on this one, we may want to try, try a different color here. Click on the materials lab here, and let's see if we can get maybe like a golden texture going there. That looks kind of cool. And let's see, we'll bring up the transparency again. Um, other things you can do is like bring up the specularity, and that brings some sheen on it as well. And also the anisotropy here brings out some nice lines on there too. So you can play with these uh, tools here and create some really nice effects too with your objects. Okay, so now we have two objects with some different colors. And notice the lines here that we're creating, some nice leading lines, and we can bring those out a little more too. Um, we can do the same thing with our uh, sphere up here to try to give it a nice look here. So again, I'll go to the materials lab, bring out maybe a greenish color on that, give it kind of a planetary look, um, bring up the transparency again. Um, Maybe some reflection there. And here, let's bring the diffusion down. Notice there, it brings down the, the light a little bit. Makes it a little more uh, manageable. Uh, try bringing up the refraction and maybe the anisotropy here. And maybe even some specularity here. Okay, and so we can get some nice effects with that too. Okay. So if you look at all three of the objects now, you can see we've got some really nice reflections going on there, some nice lines coming through here. We can also change the color of the floor as well. Um, so if I click on the floor here, now I can go to the materials lab here and give it a nice color. Maybe we'll try like a, like a deep green maybe. And you can again, same thing, you can bring up the reflection a little bit on that if you want. And you can start to see some colors really popping through there. And notice there we're creating some lines too in the reflective areas. And the last thing you may want to do is color the sky too. So if you want to add some color to the sky, you can simply go to the sky fog menu up here. And right here is your sky bar here. If you click on this gray bar right here, I can do that and then bring out maybe a nice blue. Um, you know, something like that, like a nice sky blue. And there you see I've added some color to the background. Um, let's try maybe a little more violet there. See how that plays out. There we go. We can get those colors popping out and get these nice leading lines showing up a little better. So you can you can use the materials lab to change the color of the object to bring out the transparency, to bring up the refraction on how the light hits it, and do some really nice effects. 
And then the next thing you want to work on is the lighting. So again, if you go to Sky Fog, here's your sunlight here. And if you if you want to save your sunlight uh, position there, you can click these memory buttons, much like your view memory buttons over here. So again, if I click these, then that'll save that view. So when I move the sun around, I'll still have that other view um, available if I need it. And so looking at this now, and now that I've moved the sun, now you can see things are looking slightly different. And you, if you like that view, you can save it here. Okay, so now I can go back to this view. With this sun's position, you can see right there we're back to where we started. Or this one. And you can keep experimenting and moving things around here if you want. You can even go into a nighttime kind of view too, which is kind of interesting. Let's save that one too. I notice what we've got there is a little bit darker, but you can see some nice lines kind of popping out here. And you can even, like I said, you can even take it into the night too as well. So you can get like a nighttime view like that. Okay. Um, let's go back to this view here. I liked this one a lot. And then we can add some uh, additional lighting. Other things you can do too is you can, you can click on the uh, sun here. And you can change the color of the sunlight. Or you can even bring down the intensity down here. So if I if we're at 100% intensity, you know, if you let's bring that down to 80% and see what happens here. Check mark and see if it changes anything a little bit. And there it kind of brought it down just a little bit. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in some artificial lights. So if you go to the Create tab, your yellow icons over here are your lights and we're going to use the first two this is the radial light that's kind of an all-around kind of a surround light and we're going to move that around on the canvas and see if we can add a nice effect by putting that light somewhere strategic and let's go ahead and move it back this way and maybe this way behind the objects there and see if we can get some nice effects just by running it behind there you can see we're bringing out those shadows and those lines a little bit more. Okay. And so that looks pretty good there. And with that, we may even want to go down and bring down the sun a little bit more even too into a darker kind of phase and see if that helps too at all. I notice there it's just making it a lot darker. But it changed the pattern on here, which is really kind of cool. And... Um, or you can bring it back into the daytime like that if you like to really make those colors pop out. And I like that, so I'm going to keep that. And uh, let's see, other things we can do. We can bring out the other light here, which is the spotlight. So let's see if we can make something happen with that. And that's the second one here. And notice there it's a different shape here. But we can make that spotlight pop out as well. And there I just dropped it, or I just raised it above this. And notice now we're getting some really nice dramatic shapes over here. Um, so the spotlight's kind of fun for that, too. Okay, and we can move this thing around. Um, and let's change our view. Let's go to a top view and see if we can move that spotlight. The camera's over here, so we're sitting somewhere out in here. So let's move the spotlight maybe over this way, and then we'll rotate it. Hold down, uh, I'm at a top view here, and I'm just pointing the spotlight now toward the objects here. And let's go over to Z, too. There we go. Let's go that way with it and see what it looks like under director's view. And notice now we've got a nice dramatic effect on our cube there working. That's kind of cool, too. Um... So other things we can do to, to maximize our use of light is we can also apply a gel, let's say, for example. Let's go, let's pl apply a gel to the spotlight. So if you select one of your lights, you can go into the Edit Light Lab here, and we can do a couple of things. Well, number one, we can actually soften the edge of the spotlight here with the Edge Softness tab. Notice here how the edges get softer when I bring this slider up. You can see how it's softening the edges on there. I might be a little too much. I want to keep some of it sharp. And then here we can also do what's called Use Gel. And I'm going to click on Procedural. 
and I'm gonna just add a color here let's just do like a reddish color on the light there and let's see how that affects the notice here we have a red light now or an orange light and looking at that you can see how it changes the tone a little bit it kind of softens it there so that's kind of a neat uh, effect there um, very subtle but you can also go back in you can make this sharper if you want to bring those lines back and you can also bump up the intensity up here of the light too let's bring that up to 35 maybe let's see what that does and now you've kind of brought those lines back in like they did before so that looks really cool all right um, other things you can do you can also change the intensity of the sun again so i'm going to go to the sky fog menu click on the sun here and you can change the color of the sunlight as well so if we give the sun like a violet hue for example it's going to change the overall look of the canvas as well okay and so change that you can see how it kind of muted some of the brighter tones on there we also still have these lines coming out here which is nice too okay so here we can also bump up the intensity of the uh, of the uh, radial light here bring that up a little bit and uh, we could also gel that and here we could also use what an image over it as well so we can also click on image and then if you click on one of these cells you can find a picture to add in there and it'll actually add it over the light so um, let's see if we can find an image somewhere in here that would work So here's a bitmap of a skull that I was working on. Let's add that in. Check that off and watch what happens when you add an image over it. It'll add some of that image to the canvas. And you can see how it's creating some new textures over here and also on the building here. Um, so an image texture can also really bring out some stunning results. So overall, you just want to use um, the lights and the sunlight up here. Okay, the sunlight and also the artificial lights your your radio light your spotlight to bring out the colors and uh, maybe even add some textures by using a, an image or a photograph as a gel over the light and it creates textures without you having to apply any textures okay and then that's the, that's kind of the mission is to create an interesting composition where the objects are arranged in an interesting way on the canvas um, and you've created some nice shadows leading lines and value changes in a way that makes it an interesting composition to look at